All right, to be able to put stuff in Google Sheets and have it automatically go into your calendar, you're going to open up this formula script, which I'll provide a link to, um, and you're going to have to make a copy. So let's just go to File, Make a Copy. Um, I'm just going to call this Formule Calendar 2, since I already made one. Calendar 2, it's going to open up a new one, new tab up here. And while you're waiting, um, also have out your Google Calendar tab open. See at the top of the sheet that's a little different is this formula part up here. You're going to run the initial installation. It's going to say it needs authorization. Go ahead and give it authorization for your email that you want to use this on. And make sure it matches the email up here because sometimes they're different. It'd be a problem. Click accept. And it'll say script finished. And then you can look at what is formula to get a better idea if you'd like to see. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and get started um, with, with putting this together. Define the merge source. Uh, this is just saying what it can do. Take calendar events from the data sheet. Um, sheet 1 and then just save settings. It says, okay, so now it's good to go. All right, so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to create a couple new columns um, to put information in on what I want to go in my calendar. So I'm going to insert one left. Don't erase this little comma. Uh, just leave it there. So I just inserted one column to the left. I'm going to insert four. And a cool little key, uh, quick key to just repeat what you just did is Command-Y. And it inserted another one and another one and another one. So I'm going to say date. Um, just to give you an idea of what my calendar looks like, uh, from the student's view, the, do, what, the title of the event says what's due, and if a student clicks on it, it'll say what's going on in class, and then it'll say what's going to be for homework. So what's due, in class, and homework. So I want to tell my, there we go. Uh, I'm going to say this column is going to be what I want it to put in class. This column is what I want to, actually this is the column I want do in class and homework. So I'm making a column for each thing that's going to change because something different is going to be due, something different is going to be in class, and something different is going to be for homework. So after you have those columns, you can change these to whatever you want them to be. Um, I'm going to set up the calendar merge. Don't worry about all this other stuff. Just go to 2B. Set up the calendar merge. Um, turn these two. Click the, click the check on both of these. And then on date, you're going to say, I want to create an event whenever. You're going to write not null. This just means if there's something that's in the date column, that means I want to create an event if it's not empty. And then you're going to go to the calendar that you want to, you want to make. Um, that you want to make a spreadsheet for. So maybe I want to do it for my pre-algebra second period. I would go to calendar settings and I'm going to go down here and this calendar ID is what we're looking for right here. I'm going to copy all of that from Cabelli all the way to the end of dot com. I'm going to copy it, go here and I'm going to paste it right there. The title of the event, well I want it to say um, I want it to say do and then whatever whatever is due that day. So I'm going to say every event title I wanted to say due. And then I'm going to say this right here. I'm going to copy and paste it right here. This is saying whatever I wrote in that due column, this is what I want it to say. So if I were on the calendar, this one would say due. And then in the column, I would write 6.3 discussion problems. And so location, I'm going to leave blank. Guess, I'll leave blank. I'm going to make this an all-day event instead of doing specific times just because I don't feel like dealing with that. And then under time start, I'm just going to take this date, whatever I put in my date, I'm going to put my start time right there. Uh, I don't need any reminders. And then under the event description, um, I'll say in class. I want every every thing that it creates to say in class. Um, and then I want it to write down what it, we're going to do in class, what, whatever's in the in class column. Then I'm going to also say homework, and then I'm going to write copy this variable here. Whatever's in the homework column, I want it to put right there. And something I do, I like it to be, if you noticed right here, I like it when uh, in class is bold and homework is bold. Um, so you can't just do command B. You'll just have to do a little, a little computer programming. You're going to just do uh, open bracket B, close bracket to say, I want this bold, 
and this is where I want the bold to end. You're going to put that little backslash B. I want this bold, and this is where I want bold to end. So in class will be bold, and homework will be bold, but whatever, um, whatever we're doing in class, whatever it is for homework, will not be bold. And I have it entered. You can also just leave it. Um, you don't have to push enter if you want to just leave it like that. Um, but I'm going to push enter. I'm going to save the calendar settings. And let's give this a shot. I'm going to try 7, 19, 20, 15. Do lesson 4.3 assignment. Uh, in class, we're going to review 4.3. And for homework, um, begin 4.4 le uh, reading or whatever that may be. So I'm going to take go back up to formula. And I'm going to say preview and perform manual merge. And you're going to go to, don't worry about the email, it says event create. It says this is what you're going to create. And you're going to say, yeah, that's what I want to do in class, review, homework, begin reading, run merge now. It's going to run the merge. And it'll put in some stuff here. And let's see what it looks like. Here it shows up on the pre-algebra 2 calendar. You click on it. In class, review 4.3, homework begin 4.4, reading. Um, a few things that I haven't figured out yet. If you make a change, it won't actually affect the calendar. So if you need to change this or move something, um, you'll have to actually go to your calendar uh, and move it or change it however you want. Um, but this should stream on the process. Let me know if you need any help with this or if something's not clear. Um, I hope this uh, makes things a little bit easier for you. You will have to create a new spreadsheet for each calendar you do. Um, uh, and if I figure out how to do that otherwise, I'll let you know.